Hi, my name is Stephen Fluent, and I'm on the Angular team at Google. I'm really excited to give you a really brief update on some of the things that are going on in the world of Angular. We recently published a roadmap for the first time, and this is actually a really big deal for us because while we aim to have a twice yearly release cycle, we don't actually know what's going to be in these releases because we try and do time-based releases instead of feature-based releases. So I can't promise you what's going to be in version 11 or 12, etc. But by comparing and looking at the roadmap, you can understand what we're working on and some of the things that we see as part of the future of Angular. When it comes specifically to the Jamstack, there's a couple really, really exciting innovations that are going on. The first you've probably heard of is Scully, which is a fantastic open source tool being built by the folks over at Hero Devs, where Scully takes any Angular application and allows you to take advantage of things like pre-rendering in order to make your application work using a stack that can optionally use Puppeteer or can optionally use another piece of technology from the Angular team called Angular Universal. Angular Universal is the way that we can load Angular applications into the browser within a node context. So you're not actually using a browser at all. And by doing this, we can very, very quickly, without having to spin up any sort of headless environment or using Chrome whatsoever, we can have isomorphic JavaScript running. We can pre-render thousands of pages very, very quickly. And so in one of our recent releases of Angular, we actually added our own pre-rendering support into Angular Universal. So if you haven't checked out Scully or Angular Universal and our relatively recent pre-rendering support, I recommend you do it. Thank you so much and have a wonderful event.